Switzerland is home to 8.5 million people and is cozily located in the heart of Europe. It extends for 350 kilometers or 200 miles east-west and just over 200 kilometers or 140 miles north-south, squeezed between Germany, France, Italy, Austria and Liechtenstein. While some might picture Switzerland as a mountainous country, known mainly for its banks and its chocolate, in reality Switzerland is constantly ranked as one of the most innovative and technologically advanced countries in the world. Birthplace of the World Wide Web and Nespresso Coffee, Switzerland is also known for its thriving pharmaceutical and commodity industries, as well as prosperous service, high-tech and high-precision sectors. Switzerland has four official languages German, French, Italian and Romance. In the north and eastern parts, the official language is German. This includes roughly 70% of the population, living in Zurich, Switzerland's largest city, in Bern, the country's administrative capital, and many other towns like Basel, Luzern, Winterthur, St. Gallen and Caen, and also in most of the tourist destinations in the Alps. Even though German is the official language, most people, especially when speaking amongst themselves, actually prefer to speak Schweizerdeutsch, a German dialect, with its own pronunciation and its words, and sometimes even its own grammar. French is the official language of Western Switzerland, where the city of Geneva and Lausanne are located, and where it is used for conducting business, in schools, administration and more generally for everyday life. Italian is the official language in the southern side of the Alps. In this part, Italian will be the main language for all business, administration and also the language spoken in the street. Finally, approximately 50,000 people scattered across southeastern Switzerland, speak a Neo-Latin language called Rumansh. Although Rumansh enjoys official status, and is taught in some of the schools in this part of the country it is seldom used in a larger social context. And people in this region will speak either Italian or German instead. In fact speaking several languages is a common trait of many Swiss people, and you will find that most people in the country will speak at least two of the national languages, in addition to English. It is also not uncommon to find people that can communicate in Spanish or in Portuguese. Switzerland is divided in 26 cantons. Each canton corresponds to a federate state and enjoys quite a lot of independence from the central government. Cantons have their own constitutions and governments, an independent police and judicial system, as well as their own school and tax systems. Regulations can vary significantly from one canton to the other, so when seeking information it is important to make sure they are relevant for the canton you will be living in. In the upcoming videos we will talk more specifically about different aspects of life in Switzerland. For now we hope you enjoyed our first video and to see you again soon.